Here we are getting ready to hook up the boat to launch. We've got the uh, bridge across the top of the uh, AMA arms up there which is used for raising the mast and also holds these AMAs in place so they don't flop around while trailering. The uh, mast end is secured on that wooden cross bridge. We've got the uh, turnbuckle in place here that securely holds the front of the boat. We're uh, going to hook up here. i got to get the uh, trailer ball pushed into the socket. i got the rudder blade, the tiller handle, the tiller case right there. And the uh, as we look along here, the braces under the almos are set up. Trailers down off its blocks. I use uh, lashings like this on either side to secure that. And the uh, rest of the stuff here is uh, pretty well ready to go. And that's what it looks like. This uh, upright in the back snaps in where the rudder goes. Got a roller wheel that helps hold the, uh, the mast up there. We've arrived at the boat ramp. We're going to be stepping the mast. I'm going to take the uh, bungees off that are retaining the uh, shrouds and the stays and the halyards in their storage positions. This is how I just lash everything up to keep it secure during uh, transport. I'm going to free all that up and shift the mast into position for raising. I've been pushing the mast back on that roller. You can see it's come back a ways here. All the while you want to make sure that you're getting your shrouds organized and that they're not catching on anything as you roll backwards. Okay, the uh, mast has been rolled back to where the, uh, <clears throat> the bolt can be put in at this point. And uh, we'll move on to the next step. I gotta move that radio antenna out of the way too. Here, isn't it? That's right. Here we go with the my winch winch getting ready to uh, Help me raise the mast. She's uh, paying out some extra slack. From there, we're going to take this little cross brace off here and put it away. It's just used for cradling the mast when trailering. Here we have the uh, jib halyard hooked up to the winch. Uh, oops, I think I've got something wrong there. That has to go over that first part. Well, maybe not. That should be all right. So then I'm going to get down in the cockpit there and I'm going to help lift the the thing off yeah. as Carol Ann cranks on the winch to raise this thing up. All the while watching that all of these shrouds and halyards run clear as the thing moves upward. If you encounter any restriction when you're winching, things seeming to get tight, then something's wrong. So yeah, she's this telling me that we need to go on the other side of that. So we're going to do that. For the angle that you'll eventually have here. We've got it up. with the uh, winch cable and we're gonna hook in the forestay now so the uh, lower shrouds are stabilizing it uh, side to side and the other shrouds need to be sorted out yet we'll be removing that uh, mass support from the back of the boat right now I'm uh, adjusting the shrouds uh, all the rigging has been off for a long time and 
not been uh, in, even close to the right adjustment. So this would be quicker when you're using the boat regular because uh, you'd have pretty well the right setting on the turnbuckles when you go to set up. Okay, here's the correct setup at the fourth day now. We haven't been out for two years, so we were getting it wrong there to begin with. The quick release is for the uh, jib tack and the one above there. Move your hands a second down for the four stay. Okay, I've got the uh, two lower, well the lower and the middle shroud set, which is all you can do until the uh, armas are folded out. The four stays a bit slack, but I think I can pull that up when I set the last pair of shrouds. So, I think the rig is uh, reset. So now I need to take off the uh, bridge across the almas there. That would be one of my next steps. So there's just two bolts for that hold that on. The bolts are the same as the bolts that hold the alma down. It's just the two nuts are extra. Here we show the uh, Rudder case, tiller assembly, has been uh, set in place. Here comes uh, Carol Ann with the rudder blade that we're going to install next. She's got it with its leading edge up. So we're going get, to get that put in there. This line is for holding the tiller down into place and also uh, you have to uh, pull it down into position with that set it in that uh, jam cleat there now this line here is the rudder pull up and uh, gets cleated off right there so here the uh, rudder is uh, shown in the up position which is what we use for launching and the tiller has been uh, tied off with this uh, rope and uh, friction knob here that helps control the position of the tiller. That's the uh, tiller handle that I'll be joining up onto there after a bit. I'm going to drop down these forward uh, armor supports and uh, take off those straps there too and I'll take those off when I get lined up on the ramp. There we go. A successful launch. You can see how much of the boat yeah, the trailer needs to be underwater. Yeah, you know, Actually a little more would help. Take off. Once you get in the water I uh, sometimes like to just tie off to an end of a dock where the wind will keep me streaming outward. And we're going to fold out the amas. So Carol Ann, you're going to stand up on top of that thing there as you do it. And then you're going to pull that down. We think you are anyway. Maybe you need my help. There we go. See? <laughs> Out she comes. Well, I've worked around, set all the shrouds and the four stay and uh, the outer. It's a, it's a bit of a, a little bit of a tricky business. They were all way out of adjustment. They being not used for a while. But you have to, in order to get these bolts set, setting the bolts, you can usually get one in each end in to begin with. Then you have to start pulling up on those outer shrouds in order to start pulling the almas into the locations where the bolts will match up. So you uh, get a few bolts in, then start pulling up on all the rigging and getting the rigging tensioned up the way you want it and then you can get all of the bolts in save one sometimes is troublesome and uh, that one 
I'll usually get in once the boat starts to go underway in a small bit of a seaway. I'll uh, maybe loosen up the armor bolts a bit and then the stuff kind of shifts around as you as you move a little bit and I'll find I'll get it in the right location to get that final bolt in and then tighten everything up.